Uh, and one of his sticking points, he was pulling a lot of girls home and not closing. I said, hey dude, what's happening when you get the girl home? Oh, I just get naked and put on a condom. Okay, so he wasn't doing any makeout or foreplay or he didn't even know what a clip was. So we had to, we had to cover that stuff. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to talk about the pickup mansion, the pickup house that I ran in Las Vegas in 2013. Okay, those of you that read the book The Game, they had a Project Hollywood where they had a bunch of coaches and, and pickup artists living in one house, okay, on the Sunset Strip in Hollywood and Sunset Boulevard. And that was pretty cool, the way it was described in the book, okay, but I took it to a much further level and had a whole uh, in-house training mansion in Las Vegas, which I'll go over the details in just a moment. But if you're new to the channel, this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice. The most efficient, effective, optimized tips for dating on the internet, okay? So please subscribe below if you are not yet a subscriber. And also, if you are looking to really skyrocket your game skill and solve the problem permanently so that it's solved for a lifetime, I can help you in under eight weeks, okay? I have a, an eight week program that covers how to do everything online at bars and clubs. Uh, streets and malls during the daytime. It shows you how to do all your texting. You just copy paste from my charts, how to run your dates, how to close your dates, how to retain the girls, okay? And how to pull, pull girls from nightclubs and, and the streets. So do not hesitate, jump on a free 30 minute call with me. The link is in the description. I'll go over the full game plan. There's free, uh, it's free, no obligation, okay? So in 2013, I was running a full scale mansion. It was on an acre of land. We had a hotel sized pool with a giant jacuzzi and a waterfall and there was a wall of flames over the top of the waterfall and there was like a grotto behind the waterfall kind of like the playboy mansion we also had a, a full miniature golf course a full tennis court this was just for us okay the guys living in the pickup mansion and there was gazebo all those nice rocks all this stuff a full tennis court right in our yard okay a miniature golf course and so back when i was popular on the rsd nation forums okay before they banned me because i started my own company i put up all these posts about how I wanted to run a pickup mansion where the guys would be living in the house with me and I'd be training them, going out to the clubs and, and going out during the daytime and, and just like eat, sleeping and breathing pickup, okay, and seduction. And so it was pretty cool. We had a bunch of guys fly in from around the world and we would have like lectures. I would go out and wing with them, etc. RSD ended up going and copying the idea. Okay, that's how they built the Vegas Immersion Program. I'm gonna put up a couple emails here that I sent to RST Papa, okay, and RST Tyler, Owen Cook, and Nicholas Co. where I proposed the idea of a residential Vegas immersion program before they ever invented the idea that they claimed to be theirs, okay? And I said that the whole idea was that you would live with the instructor, you would basically be like learning a lot through osmosis because you'd be around the instructor embodying the lifestyle. Okay, they, these guys that were living in the mansion that I put together, they saw hot girls there all the time, okay, and they, and they, and they got to see exactly what the lifestyle entailed to be sleeping with multiple beautiful hot women pulling regular new girls from the clubs uh, sleeping with regular new girls from dates etc etc okay so rsc ripped off that idea but they perverted it in the sense that they had their instructors living outside of the house they weren't they weren't cohabitating with the students that's mistake number one number two they put a bunch of rinky dink shithead assistants in place to go and wing with the guys and coach the guys in the, in the face of the program, which was RSD Todd, and then later became Luke, uh, it wasn't present that much, okay? Not that their game is that good anyways, Luke or, or Todd, but they really perverted the whole thing. Okay, so what I did was, I was constantly, maybe to my detriment, answering questions like 24-7, okay? It got to be pretty overwhelming. We were just talking about game around the clock. The guys living in that house got very, very, very good. Okay, we had a, a one guy, he moved in, he was like 35 or 36 year old virgin, World of Warcraft player with Walmart clothing, had kind of a wizard beard, was, was an avid World of Warcraft fan. By the time he moved out, he was regularly pulling eight fives, sometimes nines from Cold Approach Pickup. Okay, me, me and my old business partner had jokes that we were fucking with evolution, okay? But, you know, there were still more things to work through. He, he got in the situation where uh, one of his sticking points, he was pulling a lot of girls home and not closing. I said, hey dude, what's happening when you get the girl home? Oh, I just get naked and put on a condom. Okay, so he wasn't doing any makeout or foreplay or he didn't even know what a clip was. So we had to, we had to cover that stuff. Um, but it was pretty cool, okay? The whole idea of, of living with the instructor, embodying the lifestyle, 
and then going out to wing and then having kind of classroom lecture type stuff in between and they also see hot girls coming over as part of the rotation, hot girls coming over that get pulled, hot girls coming over after dates, etc. And they really get to see like what's possible. Okay, and they and they get to watch and, and see everything that their instructor, which was me in that case, is doing. Okay, so I had this hot Serbian model, this blonde hot Serbian that was coming over uh, all the time and we would fuck like four times a day in the in the jacuzzi. And I had a video recently where I talked about the water based lube. Or, sorry, uh, lubricant for the water, okay, where, where it made sex more pleasurable in the water and it's much different than, than regular land sex, okay? So I'll put the, the thumbnail up for that. You guys can check out that video. Um, but I, I've been thinking and I want to do something like this again, okay? I'm based in Brazil. Uh, most people speak Portuguese. How I, however, I have a team of coaches. I have a guy that runs West Coast USA for me that, I, that I've trained extensively that's ran programs with me for years. I have a guy that does East Coast USA for me. I have a guy that does programs in Canada, another guy that does programs in Europe, another guy that does programs in Australia. So if you're interested in something like this, where basically it'd probably be for about a month, where you would go and live at the instructor and we would just embody all the different aspects of game. Okay, we, there would be teaching on all the different areas. You'd have the instructor there to answer questions around the clock. You'd have um, you'd have him as a wingman, provide guidance throughout that whole month. And the whole idea is to really immerse yourself in everything that has to do with seduction and pickup. Okay, there were so many legendary things that happened in that mansion. We would have different strippers back at the house, groups of strippers that were like twerk, having twerking contests and shit like that. I'm gonna try to find some old footage to, to pop into here, into the, into the video. But it was really cool, I, I really enjoyed it. I think the only thing I would have changed is to put some limitations to have some hours allocated for when we would do the coaching and the questions and answers. Just because it got a little bit overwhelming. Like from the moment of waking up, guys were already drilling me with questions and that would continue throughout the whole day. It was hard to like get a break from talking about seduction or pickup. Whereas in the RSD model, they just loaded shitloads of guys onto the program, made them all roommate with each other, share rooms. The instructors were not living in the same housing, that's mistake number one. And you know, they, uh, they really watered it all down. When you have rinky dink assistants that don't know what the fuck they're talking about, running the programs and winging with the students, it's not nearly as valuable. Okay, so I'm just kind of putting this out here to gauge interest. Okay, we, we, we'd probably run these in, in some of the bigger cities that are most notorious for games. We'd probably run it in Vegas, possibly New York, possibly somewhere like Toronto, possibly somewhere like London. Okay, so if you do have interest in that, email me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. I'll put my email address here and in the description and let me know of your interest. Okay, and I'll try to find the old RSD Nation post as well so I can show what I was, what I was basically putting out a call for, okay? Um, but I was doing that around like 150 lay count, okay? So I've obviously come a lot further. Currently it's 1,369 and 69. I remember when I hit girl number 69 way back in the day over a decade ago, I actually 69 with that girl and, and I thought that was cool. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe below if you have not already. Don't forget to jump on a free 30 minute call if you wanna figure out how I can optimize your entire game, take you from whatever level you're at and quickly blast away all the weak spots, calibrate you up so that you're firing on all cylinders across the board, okay? Do not delay, spots are very limited for that. And also email me if you have interest in, in doing some kind of immersion program like this, okay? And more details will follow as we, as we craft it together. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.